Hey, I'm back. We're playing some WGT, and we're going to be playing in the new eSports Grand Slam over at Oakmont. Let's jump in and see how we do. Well, it's 51 to beat in this, so uh, probably not going to be doing that, but I'll try and score as best as I can. I'll get used to this timing again because I've been playing on my laptop recently, and that's, well, timing's different for some reason. A little the fairway, nice job. And I was really hoping to start uh, doing streams on Twitch of this. I had everything set up and then I just forgot that my internet's well, crap, basically. Whenever I try to play a game online, it always struggles and uh, yeah, that's why um, well, I'm bad doing this. I should pay more attention to that one, although it would have been pretty good if I'd just go to hit the green, maybe. Uh, I'll pitch this. I'm going to try and pitch this one, I think. It's going to be a fairly fast screen, I imagine, considering uh, we're playing a big event. So, try it there. And run out. Is that going to run off the green again? Not quite. Quite a putt for our first hole, though. Uh, this one to save par. Not ideal. That's championship green. Of course it is. Uh, it's going to slide quite a bit, so... Let's go about there. Take a tiny bit off 15. And... Well, as I pray it turns, and pray it gets there. It didn't do either until it was too late. Well, it got there. It didn't turn until it was too late. Should be a bogey though, as long as we can get that right. There we go. I click late deliberately to allow for the uh, break. Hole number two. Can we get that shot back straight away? It would be nice, wouldn't it, if we could? It's a bit late again, but wind should bring that back in, I hope. Go on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Hold on to the fairway. Just about. Alright, should just be a uh, pitching wedge from there. Right to left wind. Everything's going to feed back to the right. About, about there. It's a bit short of 110. Perhaps it's going to be close, despite the fact I clicked that way too late. Okay. Chance of a birdie, chance to get back to level par. We are putting uphill, that's going to work in our favour here. And, uh, yeah, not much break in that, so I'm just going to aim that there. Hit it about 4 or 5 on the meter, and in you go. Good bay to bounce back from that opening bogey. But now, can we push on, please? We're going downwind here, so it's possible. Just going to aim down the fairway. Give that a whack. Sweet spot. <sighs> nice. That should be uh, quite a long way down there, I hope. Maybe 300 yards? Can we get to 300? Nowhere near 300, but uh, should be probably a 9 iron into this flag. Going uphill. Full backspin on that. It's going to feed to the right. Wind's going to take it a bit to the left, I believe. Go about there. Uh, 117 is 90%. So, yeah. Nowhere near, apparently. It's also gone right, despite the fact the sweet spot. How weird. Alright, just outside the, uh, the dum range. Just outside 10 feet. Can we hole apart? That's been our big issue with these events so far, isn't it? Not being able to hold apart. I think if I aim this just out, or just at the edge here, go up to that, and it just, oh, slightly more than 9 pushed it, but should go in. There we go. We are one under. Uh, could have been two under at this point. Uh, I haven't made a birdie right before a par five, which is usually a good thing. Let's see if we can make a birdie here, shall we? Sweet spot being hit once more. Uh, please stay out to the... Oh god, get down, get down. Just a bit out of the fairway there. 
Amazing how far that turned to the right, but um, not a problem. Let's get him out here to the left. Wind's going to hold it up, I hope. Sweet spot once more. Uh, into the narrowest part of the green, but we should be doing it from pitching wedge range. That's a pitching wedge. Uh, we're going slightly downhill here, I believe. Yes, we are. Down to the pitching wedge. I'm going to aim it just off the green here. Like so. Well, the wind, not the wind, the uh, green's going to take it a bit more to the right when it lands. Maybe I'll aim it out here. Rather stupidly. Alright, downhill, like I said, 104 is 90%. We're looking at about 110 being 95. And that's probably about what we need here. Give it a bit more to be safe. And uh, hopefully, okay. Clipped it a bit early, but it shouldn't be an issue. Saying we're going to be close, but don't know how close that is. And that has still gone to the right of the hole, but I think we're putting uphill from there. So we should make another birdie here. Hopefully. Now it's downhill. Is it possible to be putting uphill? I don't know. Probably not. Just going to hit it there and hope it doesn't turn too much. Ooh, it tried. Three bays in a row, though. We are two under par. Can I carry that on here? It's possible. It's uh, not a short par four, but it's one of those ones where we could easily get up and down. Because we can have a wedge in our hands, hopefully, with our uh, second shot. We shouldn't run out of fairway here, but I'm going to take a bit off this just to be safe. Go about there, I think. Oh, that's probably not holding the fairway. It didn't, I don't think, but not for the reason I thought. Yeah, literally just off it. What a surprise. On the plus side, I could probably just hit this full now. With some backspin. Uh, take a bit off it still to be safe because of that wind. Let's go about there. Should be fine. Should be fine. Yeah, I'll do. Uh, we were inside 100 yards, so we had to be inside 2 yards for the uh, heartbeat thing to be going off. Not an easy part, mind. I'll give it my all. See what my all can do. Probably not much. Oh, nice. Uh, I pulled the putt, but it still went in. So that's surprisingly four birdies in a row. Uh, 190 downwind. It's going to reach the green. Should be enough to get it close. Chuck all the backspin on. Take the tiniest bit off because of that wind. And apparently it's going to be inside uh, three yards again. Inside ten feet. Probably only just, though. Feed in, feed in, please. Feed in. Ah, you bugger. We've got a long putt again. But uh, this will be for five birdies in a row. After the opening bogey. Very surprising. Uh... Yeah, I just don't know how it's going to break. It's going to be a fairly aggressive putt, I think, if I hit it just below six. So, there. Somehow it drops in again. We are now four under. I've made five birdies in a row. Ah, uh, we could potentially keep it going here, but it's not going to be easy. Okay, that's the best side to miss on with the wind going right to the left. So it should be in the fairway. Barely. Probably can't reach the green. I'm just going to hit this full, I think. Because it should carry to the front. Or reach the front, at least. Wind's going to take it to the left again. To get the timer right. Oh, and I did. Yeah, not going to be close, close, but it should be on the green, hopefully. Get all the way back there. Get all the way back there. That is not bad, considering we should never have been able to reach this. We've still got a putt for a birdie, just a very long one, and I imagine that's where the run's going to come to an end. But we'll see, won't we? Stranger things have happened, and I'm thinking if I just hit this 10% of 300, which is 30, it's probably going to get it up there. Probably not. But, um, you never know. Let's try to picture it rolling. I 
think that's going to be fine. We'll see, won't we? Ah, I just turned too much. Sit down. Perfectly judged. Just uh, didn't quite get the line right. Should be making a par, though. It's probably the best way to end a birdie run, other than making an eagle, an albatross, or a condor. But those are very... Well, they're more unrealistic. Not very realistic. I've got a way of words, haven't I? Just going to be trying to hit this one to the fairway, I think, because we can't reach the green. Surprise, surprise. Should be safely in there. Let's carry over that bunker, please. Thank you. And now we're going to try and get up and down, which we have done quite a few times in this round thus far. I'm thinking tiniest bit of backspin. I'm going to hit this just beyond 48, I think. Oh. Look at that a bit late, but hopefully it's going to be close. Yeah. Just need a bit less backspin, really. Should have a par from this, I hope. This would be a bad time to miss a part, wouldn't it? Aim at the edge there again, and just a bit more than six should do it. There we go. We're still four under, and uh, onto the very difficult ninth hole, but we are going downwind, which probably makes it a bit harder, actually, thinking about it. Short of sh Short of shot, but uh, it's going to be in uh, downwind, which makes it a bit harder. Not a problem, though, because we're not going to be getting anywhere near that green in two. Wind's going to carry it forward. I'm going to aim it out to the... yeah, over here, to the left. Gives us a better angle into that flag from there, even though we are going to be about... probably about 140 away still. No, not even that, 150-ish. Uh... The eight iron get there to think downwind? Probably. Then I went for that camera. That's what I want. So wind's gonna carry it forward. It's gotta carry one four one. Yeah, I'm thinking I just hit this full power with full backspin. It's really happy it'll be going to dump, but um that's pretty why it's not. Okay, bunk rough, rough. That could have been worse. It would be great if I hold this, but uh, I think realistically we're going to be making a bogey here at best. Which is a shame after the comeback we had. Um, yeah. Going to run out for me down that slope that you claim was there. Alright, uh, hopefully this is damage limitation here. I'm not this way in for my bogey. And we move on at three under par, I hope. That is the plan. Will it happen? Pfft, barely. Three under par for nine holes. 